Happy Wednesday, movie collectors. We are now on to the eighth shelf of my comedy section. Uh, we have uh, the first Pitch Perfect movie. Uh, this one was actually a pretty decent movie. I didn't hate it. And then, of course, we've got uh, Pitch Perfect 2. Uh, again, this one was okay. Then we've got Pitch Perfect 3. I did not like this one. This was definitely the worst of the, of the three. Uh, then we have Happy Gilmore. Uh, this one, you know, I'm not a huge Adam Sandler fan. This one actually surprised me. This one was really, really good. Definitely a classic. And then we have The Sitter with Jonah Hill. This one also was a very good movie. Was very impressed, was not expecting much from this movie and I'm very happy to be proven wrong. And then we have Old Dogs. Uh, this movie was only okay. I thought it was an interesting combination which was one of the main reasons why I bought this movie. But it turned out only just to be okay. Uh, then we have uh, The Dilemma. You know, uh, I was expecting this to be more of a comedy, but it actually turned out to be... It says it's a comedy, but it seems to be played more like a drama movie than a comedy. Then we've got Death at a Funeral. Uh, this one was only average. I thought with this cast that it would have been a lot better than it actually was. Uh, then we have The Tooth Fairy with The Rock. This one was actually, uh, it's a kid's movie, but it was it was still pretty good. Then we have Cop Out with Bruce Willis. You know, I'm a big Bruce Willis fan, so of course I've got to get all the Bruce Willis movies, and uh, Kevin Smith directed this. A lot of people hate on this movie, but I thought it was pretty good. Then we have Blue Streak with Martin Lawrence. Another really good movie. Loved watching this growing up. Big Martin Lawrence fan. Then we have Date Night with uh, Steve Carell and uh, Tina Fey. Another underrated movie. A lot of people said they weren't huge fans of this. I, lo I loved this movie. Then we've got a Kevin Smith classic, probably one of his best movies he's made, Dogma. Can't say enough good things about this movie. And then we've got another classic comedy movie, Due Date. Another movie I love. Love Zach Galifianakis and Robert Downey Jr. They do really well together. And then of course we've got Austin Powers. Got to have definitely every collection needs to have these movies. And of course we've got the second one. And the third one. Then we have Galaxy Quest, another classic movie. Love Tim Allen movies, and this out of his movies, I'd probably say this was uh, my second favorite. I say I was a big fan of Wild Hogs. Then we got another classic for if you like those raunchy R-rated comedies. Hot Tub Time Machine is definitely that. Loved this movie. Then we have uh, The Whole Nine Yards with Bruce Willis. Again, love, love Bruce Willis movies. And if you have The Whole Nine Yards, gotta get The Whole Ten Yards. Uh, then we have The Girl Next Door. 
Uh, this one was, uh, it was pretty good. It wasn't, you know, the funniest movie ever, but it was, it was definitely an original idea. So I liked it for that. And I liked the cast. Then we've got Blades of Glory. Uh, this, this one was, uh, definitely better than Semi-Pro, but I don't think it was on the, it wasn't on the levels of Talladega Nights and Anchorman. Then we've got uh, ICU.com. This wasn't a, a good original idea. It was a straight-to-DVD movie that I found uh, shopping at Blockbuster. So I just kind of took a chance on it and picked it up. And it actually turned out to be really, really good. Then we have Zack and Mary Make a Porno. Uh, this was one of Seth Rogen's better movies. I loved this movie. And then you've got Jay in there, of course. Uh, then we have Can't Hardly Wait. This is another movie I loved watching growing up and still love watching to this day. One of those real raunchy R-rated comedies that's still awesome. Uh, then I have Win a Date with Tad Hamilton. Uh, this was another one I picked up from Blockbuster back when it was in business. Took a chance on it and it turned out to be really good. Big Topher Grace fan. Then we've got a, a great parody slapstick comedy movie, High School High, Making Fun of Dangerous Minds. Oh, I love this movie. Uh, then we have America's Sweethearts. Uh, gr amazing cast. It was an okay movie, but it was an, just an amazing cast. Uh, then we have Surviving Christmas. This is one of my favorite Christmas movies. Uh, ben Affleck and James Galden, uh, Gandolfini did amazing in this. You know, I'd I'd watch it if it wasn't uh, <laughs> wasn't August right now. <laughs> then we have one of Jim Carrey's best pieces of work here, Yes Man. You know, again, wasn't expecting much of this movie because. Every Jim Carrey movie I had seen besides like Bruce Almighty and Liar Liar, I wasn't a huge fan of, so I really wasn't expecting much of this, but for a dollar I took the risk and I was, boy was I happy getting this one. Then we have one that I loved watching growing up as well, uh, Get Over It, one of those raunchy teen comedies, great cast, great acting, great writing, was actually surprised Cisco did pretty good in this movie as well. But that does it for this uh, shelf of my movie collection. Till next time.